All right, guys, Good boy 32 here, check it out. So we're sitting here on the review table, and in front of us, I have a couple things from the guys over there at Primary Arms. First being is this guy right here. This is the 2.5-10. This is the GLX with the ACSS Raptor M2. Now, why am I holding this thing? Well, one is, is I want to possibly use this in an upcoming... Uh, DMR match because I don't think we're going to be shooting out past maybe six seven hundred yards. If that's the case, what I want to do is I will probably set up a new DMR rifle. I know, I know, I know. But uh, one of the things that I'm able to do is I can utilize either my three gun rifle, which works perfectly with the ACSS reticle out to five or six hundred yards. Or I can set up another DMR rifle using, I've got one with the Criterion Barrel 810 inch, one and eight twist, which is absolutely perfectly matched to this guy as well. So this is the mix. But what we're here to talk about, because we'll test this thing out in the near future because that thing's in three weeks. Of course, you know me, I like to wait to the last minute. But what we're talking about is this right here. Uh, so one of the local reps from Primary Arms was at my local gun store over there at Point Blank Range in Matthews, North Carolina. Yeah, so I was over there, and he and I were talking, and I was looking at some of the stuff, and I go, whoa, where where did you get this uh, scope mount? Well, this is their new, this is a GLX lineup of scope mounts. And I think uh, these are very similar to the guys over there at Warren Tactical, which leads me to believe that maybe somebody made an agreement. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So first of all, let's look at that. American made. Made in the USA. Outstanding. Okay, made in the USA primary arms. GLX scope mounts utilize cutting edge materials to secure your rifle scope with exceptional consistency. All GLX scope mounts feature black zinc phosphate coated steel hardware providing 65 inch pounds of torque to the crawl screws right here. Okay, I just make sure that's clear. And uh, it eliminates optic shift combined with a lightweight 6061 T6 frame. These mounts are powerful balance of strength and agility. Agility. All right, so let's just go ahead and clarify a couple things. Uh, one is uh, 15 to 25 inch pounds on your screws. I always go with like 23 across the board on almost everything I have. Now, these things are available uh, with a ring height of one and a half inches. Uh, fits optics. They've got them available for 24, let's just say 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter with uh, 20 MOA built into them, 34 millimeter with 34 or with 20 millimeter, 34 millimeter with 20 MOA built into them. Uh, let's see, ring length of 0.75 inch, ring spacing is all 2.71 inches and a weight, a weight for the one that I have here, which is the 30 millimeter 20 MOA is 6.7 ounces. So yeah, I want to show you guys this. Let's bring it on in. Here we go. Okay, so there's a couple things that set this apart. Now I've actually got uh, these guys right here. This is the War Hunt stuff that we uh, did a review on not too long ago. You can see right there. Um, you look at the edges. The well, first of all, this is skeletonized. This area right here bridges a little further than from front to rear. Uh, the everything is smoothed out. A little thickness on here. I like that. Uh, and so I was really impressed with these all the way around. I like that they got the primary arms right here. I also like that they've got everything dictated underneath here. On this one, they've got the 20 MOA right there. Guys, if you're running optics, go ahead and try to find yourself a 20 MOA because if your intent is to utilize, and I'll use the reticle in here, but I'll also utilize the turrets on here. So I want to make sure that I've got 20 MOA built into this thing, which means, guys, and we, we were talking about this earlier. So basically what that does is it cants your, your scope down a little bit, raising the muzzle a little bit more, which gives you 20 MOA of additional turret space in here, okay? If you're not gonna use the turrets, and I wouldn't worry too much about it, but what you need to have here is a T15 cross screws right here, 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 and here. And these are uh, steel cross screws right here, which means you're not going anywhere. But uh, basically what I've done, I've taken the liberty of going ahead, and I love the torque screws, okay? 
uh, these are the best things to use. Now, I was going to go ahead and show a mounting video. I'm not going to do that because I don't have my uh, scope leveling stuff with me while I'm out of town. But I will tell you this. These guys, this thing fits a scope so nicely, it's not even funny. Uh, I've actually got one set up already on the uh, 6 to 20 uh, 6 or, uh, scope with the Athena reticle set up on the uh, 6 millimeter arc. So we're going to be using that scope to test out that upper and then we're going to set up another uh, DMR rifle with this guy right here. Uh, it, it's going to be one of those things. I'm not sure what I'm going to run, but uh, at that competition, uh, and literally I could probably run my uh, three gun rifle because that thing is, is dead nuts out to like five or 600 yards without any issues with 77 grain. Uh, and if I do that, I'm running the uh, one to eight primary arms. So it wouldn't be bad to go ahead and switch it up with this guy right here. Uh, again, if it's a weird distance, then I can use the turrets to go ahead. So I can actually use the turrets to go ahead and dial it in. So let's go ahead and fix this up. I want to at least show you what it looks like on the scope itself. Uh, one of the things I do like, I'm not sure if these do, do have are the steel inserts and they looks like they do not. These guys right here, uh, they do retail for $99.99, which isn't a bad deal considering uh, what you're getting, uh, which is a 20 MOA built in. It's uh, and a very, I just like the corners, the edges. I'll have a link to these guys on my website, kb32tag.com, if you want to go ahead and check that out. We'll go ahead and cross these over real quickly. One of the things I do like to do is I try as hard as I can to ensure that the centerpiece here on your scope is, in fact, in between here in space equally. Uh, once you get it onto your rifle and set up on the pick rails, you can just do your fine adjustments after that. But uh, the idea, don't be real tight up like that and don't be real tight up like that. I'm not a big fan of that. And do not over tighten your rings. I've actually done that before and destroyed a scope. That's why they say there are spec uh, specified uh, inch pounds. It's not a bad idea also to have something that you can measure your uh, torque on these screws because it is important. And, and you know what? If you're not doing it like I, we do, uh, some of us do it on a daily basis, then not pretty, not a very important thing. You definitely probably want to borrow a, uh, a nice uh, torque wrench or screwdriver, torque screwdriver from somebody. I uh, go between that, the Borka. Uh, tool and then also I like to use the fat wrench because fat wrench is economical you can probably get those for around $35 one of the other things that we also like to do and I know this is rehashing a lot of this stuff for you guys but uh, eventually when we do get it tightened down I want to ensure that my gaps let me get this last screw tightened in I don't have and then other things I don't have my torque wrenches with me that's why I don't want to screw tighten this thing down but I want to ensure that the gaps here and here are equal to those over here and here. As you notice, those are tight. All you have to do is just loosen that up half a turn, half a turn, tighten half a turn, tighten half a turn, and eventually what will happen is they'll equal out. You can also use uh, a gap uh, gauge like you do for the uh, spark plugs uh, if you're that critical about the spacing in there. I just like to make sure that everything is perfect all the way around. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, 100 bucks, not a bad deal, considering that uh, a last set of scope rings that I bought uh, before this was $420-something. Yeah. So if you're going to buy a decent scope, which the GLXs are really nice, uh, then I would definitely invest in a good set of rings. Well, anyway, guys, that is it. This is the Primary Arms GLX 30 millimeter cantilever mount. This is with the uh, 20 MOA built in, which is the way to go if you're going to ever use your turrets. I was in them like this. Guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free, and especially those individuals who are going to be. Uh, around 
to keep our Constitution alive because it appears that people are trying to steal that thing, including our election, because their, what do you call it? The ends justifies the means. That makes me sick. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Oh, don't forget, go to boy32tech.com. Y'all be good.